All comes after a man was killed by a pack of dogs in a South Longview neighborhood. Kenneth Pearson was found dead next to his bike earlier this year. Weeks later, the dog's owner, Gilbert Martin Rodriguez, was charged in connection with his death. An investigation conducted by our newspaper partners in Longview revealed the city's animal control previously issued 50 citations to Rodriguez. New tonight, our Jesus Martinez sat down with Kenneth's family, who says the dangerous dog situation is a lingering issue. Disbelief. Just kind of, I was like, none of this is making sense. Petra Davis, longtime friend and mother to Zayden, is talking about the moment she got the call Kenneth Pearson died. I was like, a dog? Dogs? What are you talking? None of this is making sense. He's dead, huh? She says these last couple of months have been a challenge without him, especially with her son. He used to spend a lot of time with me. He used to go to football. This giraffe. Yes, but. Is one of the few things Zayden has to remember his dad. It was given to me by my dad's mom because he wasn't there to give me it, but it's really special to me. It kind of makes me think about how, you know, how, how much fun I had with him. Memories are all that remain. Davis says she didn't realize how bad the stray dog situation was in the neighborhood where Kenneth lived until recently. He would talk about these dogs sometimes because he was like, he wouldn't let Zayden walk with him sometimes, he said, because of these dogs. It's a debt that is sparking change in how the city addresses the stray animal population. And so we have been spending significantly more of our time in that portion of Longview. City of Longview spokesperson Richard Yakely says animal control is now taking steps to reduce the stray dog population in the city's south side, which is densely populated and has lots of underdeveloped land for dogs to live in. We are doing everything in our power to make sure incidences like this don't happen in our community. Data gathered by paper partners at the Longview News Journal detail the number of complaints by Longview and Gray County residents. Among those numbers, 574 dog bites reported in Longview, 208 Gray County dog bites reported, and close to 1,500 animals ordered to be impounded. Davis says something should have been done sooner to prevent this tragedy. When you have where there's multiple accounts, you have children who are being um, threatened, you have citizens being threatened to where they can't even go in and out of businesses. In Longview, Jesus Martinez, CBS 19. In response to the numbers listed on that report, the city says animal control officers have written more than 300 citations regarding animals, and the Longview Animal Care and Adoption Center has taken in more than 1,200 in the past year. They also increased animal control presence on the south side of the city.